Welcome, this is Form 3 Mathematics and the topic today is variation. The equation, two variables are such that A is partly constant and partly varies as the square root of B. Given that A is 27 when B is a quarter and A is 18 when B is 25, find A when B is 12 and a quarter. So, we need to know that A and B are related as follows. So we say A is partly constant, so we'll represent a constant by a letter, say, K, plus A also varies as the square root of B. So if it varies as the square root of B, we love to express it as a product of a given constant, say, h. So we are getting this from the fact that a varies as the square root of b. And usually when you introduce the equal sign, a becomes equal to root of b multiply by a scalar, say h, so h root b. So that is why we have this at this point. But for the other case, a is just constant, so that's why you have k here. So partial variation is identified uh, by addition sign in an equation. So we are going to use this equation here to solve the problems that we are given. So first of all, we need to get the relationship between A and B by simply getting the actual values of K and H, that is the constants. So in this case, we have been given that when A is 27, B is a quarter, so we will substitute that. So when A is 27, so we have 27 and the constant term is K plus H the square root of B and B we are told is a quarter, so 1 over 4. Uh, this will be 27 is equal to K. Uh, the square root of a quarter is a half. So we have plus h over 2. And this uh, should simplify as follows. So we are going to multiply all through by the LCM, which is 2. And that should give us uh, the equation written as twice k plus h is equal to 54. So let's have this as our first equation. The second equation we are going to obtain by simply substituting the next values. So when A is 18, B is 25. So next we have 18 is equal to K plus H root 25. And this becomes k plus 5h is equal to 18. So that is our second equation. So, sorry. So we are going to solve the two equations. We have simultaneous equations. We are going to solve them simultaneously. Uh, so we are going to apply elimination method so that if we have 2k plus h is 54, k plus 5h is 18, we will have to multiply these by 1 and 2 and then that should give us a set of equations as follows, 2k plus h is 54, 
2k plus 5h is 36 and for this case you are going to eliminate k by simply getting the difference so 2k minus 2k is 0 so h minus 5h that should give us oh sorry here it is supposed to be 10 sorry so 2 by 5 that is 10 so h minus 10h that should be negative 9h which is equal to 54 minus 36 that should give us 18 so that means the value of h should be negative 2 dividing both sides by 9 from there we are going to substitute the value of h in the second equation and that should give us so h is negative 2 and applying it in equation 2 we are going to have k minus 10 is equal to 18 so we simply have 5 times h and h is negative 2 so that is 5 times negative 2 which should give us negative 10 so the value of k should be 18 plus 10 so that is 18 negative 10 crosses we have plus 10 and that is 28 so with the value of k and the value of h we can now rewrite the law connecting a and b which is a is equal to k and the value of k is 28 minus 2 minus 2 for positive h root b so applying this law we are going to get the value of a so in the question we were told find a when b is 12 and a quarter so a will be 28 minus twice root b and b we have been told is 12 and a quarter so 12 and a quarter can be written as an improper fraction that is 49 over 4 so that writing that here we'll have 49 over 4 for b so that finally we have a is equal to 28 minus 2 into the square root of 49 over 4 that is 7 over 2 so 2 cancels by 2 and then we have 28 minus 7 finally the value of a is 21 so that's it for this question thanks for your patience thank you for watching and see you next time